One of these things is not real. Centrifugal versus centripetal. The two meanings of the two words might actually help us here. Centra is to do with centre, so that means, uh, well, centre is a reference point. Um, fugal is to do with away from or repelling, and petal is towards or seeking. Okay, so in circular motion, we have this object uh, traveling around in a circle, and the force that is acting on this, the unbalanced force which is causing the acceleration, um, it's not centrifugal acceleration, it's centripetal acceleration, There's a, that's the biggest clue towards the thing, um, is towards the center. Use another color so that's clearer. So towards the center we have our acceleration. Now remember force is proportional to acceleration. So our centripetal force and our centripetal acceleration are going to be the same thing if, if what we've got going is right here. Okay, so uh, by all of the previous videos and what we've talked about before already, I guess it's given the game away. You know that there is a center seeking force, which is centripetal force. Um, so we've got this problem though, because in, in actual effects, what you notice, say if you're in a car traveling around a curve and you're going around, you're going to feel like you're being pushed outwards. So you're going to feel like there's some sort of force pushing you outwards. Is there really a force pushing you outwards? Uh, that is that is the big, big question. Um, and, uh, I mean, it seems like there must be. We've described a centrifuge um, in, in an earlier video uh, where you've got um, like a, a central rotating thing and you've got arms sticking out on this thing with... Um, with little containers on the end and you, what you usually see is as it spins up these things raise up they're normally sitting kind of down like this and just hanging down the side and and so forth and then as it come up uh, as it spins they lift up to the side so they're all sticking out and spinning around and what a centrifuge does um, it often separates out different things that are within the mix according to density um, so higher, higher and lower density items will uh, separate out into different layers as this thing spins around. So surely that means there's a force pushing some of the uh, more high density things further out. Um, is there maybe? I don't know. We know that for circular motion... I do know actually, I'm, I'm joking. We do know that for circular motion to, to be occurring there must be a force inwards that is changing the direction because the instantaneous velocity if you if you were to break um, one of these centrifuge arms that would go flying off in the direction of the instantaneous velocity and at a tangent to the to the radial direction um, so that that center center force has to be there to cause the circular motion but um, we, what we want to know is if that force is the centripetal force enough uh, for um, for the effects that we notice? And I'm going to frame this in a way that hopefully will show you that yes, yes it is. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. Bear this in mind as a hypothesis. Now, there's something called um, inertia, which is a measure of how hard it is to uh, to move something or to change its direction or um, it's very closely related to momentum. If you try and uh, stop a big heavy train that's rolling along at a slow speed, um, it's going to be really hard to stop it or to change its direction, to, to speed it up even, or to slow it down. Um, the same thing is with the higher density uh, parts that are within the centrifuge here. So the higher density parts are going to be harder to change their direction. So for the force applied, those things are kind of going to be left behind. 
and these things that are closer down will will turn easier. They'll feel like they'll turn easier. Um, so what we're noticing here is that uh, as this thing goes around, these parts want to stay in place, and these parts uh, don't. Well, they're, they're more likely to come uh, with the uh, with the rotation. Um, and that effect in itself is what we would call the centrifugal force is that there's not actually a force pushing outwards it's just the effect of getting left behind so as this moves on to to the next stage it'll be here and this thing still wants to be uh, back over here um, the other parts have been more easily pulled along with it and they're sort of pushing against the um, as a reaction force if you like against these other things which are sitting down here so they can't go down further um, it's more of a, a buoyancy uh, type thing it'd be interesting to spin something that had say some liquid uh, some liquid in it and a bunch of air bubbles and it'd be interesting to watch which the direction the air bubbles went in um, whether the air bubbles are harder to move um, towards uh, uh, to change the direction or whether the water is harder to change the direction and there is a device which you could use to test this called an accelerometer and it's basically a jar with a little floaty thing and it's fixed in place down here and there's fluid inside the jar now because of uh, the way the inertia works this little floaty thing in the middle um, is a lower density than the water surrounding so if you were to apply a force and, uh, to shift this whole thing to the left, um, you would leave all of the water behind and, uh, and the, the, the little floaty thing would appear to move forward in the direction of the force. And it seems really crazy and back to front, but it's like the water that was in that place um, would much rather stay in its own location, so the water gets left behind back where it was and this thing carries on moving forward so you can look that up it's an accelerometer um, measures the direction of acceleration very cool thing um, yeah so anyway let's go back up to our, our initial question uh, we asked what is the real deal here what's going on um, is there centrifugal force no there is however a centripetal force a uh, center seeking force the centrifugal uh, is an imaginary force, um, which is it's felt as as uh, uh, kind of being left behind and trying to be pulled um, in the direction that you don't want to go. So it's a, it's a reaction to the centripetal force, and is a better way of talking about it. You could maybe explain it in terms of a centrifugal effect. Yeah, if you want to debate this, debate in the comments. I think that's a good idea talk about other things which we've noted. If you want to try and make an accelerometer, I think that would be a great project.